Welcome to another episode of Inspirational Travels. Today, we head to the mesmerizing town of Ronda, nestled amidst the stunning landscapes of Andalusia in Spain. The city of Ronda is home to the real Mouse Transa de Caballeria, the oldest and most noble order of horsemanship in Spain since 1485. In the 18th century, the Ronda Bullring, also known as the Plaza de Toros, was built in the center of the town, becoming one of Ronda's most iconic landmarks. Recognized as the first purpose-built space for bullfighting in the world, the Plaza de Toros is considered one of the most picturesque, with the mountainscape of Ronda providing the ring with its dramatic backdrop. Since its founding, the bull ring has seen numerous local heroes and outstanding figures in the history of bullfighting emerge. In modern times, the ring mainly serves as a ceremonial location, and its principal activities are in the conservation of its unique history and artistic heritage related to horse riding and bullfighting. Designed by architect Josie Martin de Aldejuela, the bull ring is an architectural masterpiece that showcases a unique blend of neoclassical and Moorish influences. The Plaza de Toros boasts an impressive facade, characterized by a series of grand arches and sturdy stone walls. The entrance gate, known as the Puerta Grande, welcomes visitors into the bullring's interior. The circular arena itself is the centerpiece of the Plaza de Toros, featuring a sand-covered floor where the bullfights take place. The arena is surrounded by multiple levels of seating, creating a dramatic amphitheater setting. The seating arrangement allows for an excellent view from any angle, ensuring that every spectator can witness the spectacle up close. The design of the bullring also includes a distinct feature called the Kalajan, a narrow alleyway between the arena and the seating area. Kalajan serves as a safety zone for the bullfighters and provides a space for the matadors to showcase their skills and agility during the fight. The Plaza de Toros de Ronda not only offers an impressive architectural experience, but also houses a museum dedicated to the art and history of bullfighting, which offers a glimpse into the cultural history of bullfighting. A stunning exhibition of the most exquisite craftsmanship of the equipment and tools of the trade are on display for visitors, which includes costumes, matador capes, photographs, and paintings. The museum provides a deeper understanding of the cultural significance of bullfighting in Spanish tradition. Leaving the bull ring behind, we approach the El Tajo Gorge, where the monumental new bridge, or Puente Nuevo, stands proudly. As we walk across this architectural marvel, spanning the breathtaking depths of the gorge, we recount the stories of its construction and the historical events that unfolded upon its completion, gaze upon the sheer magnitude of the gorge and the rushing Guadalivan River below, while basking in the awe-inspiring vistas that Ronda offers. Before that, a brief history of the bridges in Ronda. In the early 16th century, the town of Ronda saw an increase in market areas and its local population. It was thus decided that there was a need for a crossing that could link La Ciudad with the other side across the gorge. However, it was only during the 1700s that Ronda would build a bridge over the Guadalupe River. The bridge was designed by architects Josie Garcia and Juan Camacho and used a single arch to create a crossing via the ravine and the bridge. 
The bridge was, however, constructed with haste to quickly meet the demands of the town. And sadly, this meant that the bridge was not sturdy. The immense tension caused by the ever-increasing loads from transporting people and goods daily resulted in the collapse of the bridge in 1741. This tragic incident took the lives of 50 people who fell to their deaths into the ravine below. In 1759, Rhonda decided to build a new bridge, initially led by a well-known architect, Domingo Luis de Montagudo, who took into consideration the tragic accident of the old bridge and came up with a new design to ensure that the new bridge would be sturdier and stronger. However, after supervising the completion of the first section of the bridge, he had stopped being involved by 1778. By 1785, work on the bridge had come to a complete halt. The town's administrator, Pascal Ruiz, had to invite another prominent architect, Josie Martin de Aldejuela, to finish the work on the new bridge. Josie Martin de Aldejuela came up with an extraordinary design, which he used to build on the foundation laid by Lois de Montagudo, which led to the final design of the new bridge, bringing to life what we presently see in Rhonda. Another interesting fact was the innovative system of pulleys employed by the chief builder, Juan Antonio Diaz Machuca, which enabled the lifting of large stones from the bottom of the gorge. The new bridge was finally completed in 1793, taking over 34 years of painstaking hard work, connecting the old and new parts of Rhonda and stands as a testament to the town's resilience and determination. The bridge itself is a stunning blend of stone and masonry, rising majestically from the rocky cliffs below. Its arch design is both elegant and robust, exuding a sense of grandeur that captivates visitors from afar. Standing at over 90 meters tall, the new bridge offers breathtaking panoramic views of the surrounding landscapes with the plunging gorge below and the rolling hills in the distance. Rhonda's new bridge serves not only as a remarkable architectural landmark, but also as a cultural and historical symbol for the town. It has witnessed centuries of events and continues to be a gathering place for locals and tourists alike. Its significance in literature and art has made it an icon attracting writers, painters, and photographers who seek inspiration from its dramatic setting. Surrounding the new bridge, visitors will find charming cafes, shops, and viewpoints that allow them to soak in the breathtaking surroundings. The bridge is also a gateway to explore Rhonda's rich history, from its ancient Moorish roots to its connections with famous figures like Ernest Hemingway and Orson Welles. Whether admiring the bridge from a distance, crossing its sturdy arches, or simply marveling at its engineering brilliance, the new bridge of Rhonda is a must-see attraction for anyone visiting this enchanting town. It stands as a testament to human achievement and provides an unforgettable experience that combines natural beauty, architectural splendor, and a deep sense of history. Moving deeper into the town and navigating the narrow, winding streets that exude charm and character, visitors can admire the exquisite whitewashed houses adorned with vibrant flower pots, which form a picturesque backdrop. Don't miss the opportunity to immerse yourself in the splendor of Rhonda, Spain's magical town where tradition meets beauty. Thank you for joining us on this captivating tour. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more enriching experiences. Until next time, happy travels, and stay safe.